With the Bahamas being blessed with so much natural beauty, it is only natural that we want to welcome people to come and experience firsthand our various islands. The Bahamas for a tourist is one of the prettiest places you will ever get to see. There's no place closer that takes you further away from it all, that takes you further back in time, that's totally different from anywhere else. Around every new corner you'll run into something you've never seen before. The experiences are truly unique. Most people don't know that there's more than 700 islands in the Bahamas. Many are just little keys and islands that are not even inhabited, no matter how old you are or how young you are. There's something for everyone. This is an island nation with huge amount of diversity. The size of the Bahamas compared to other archipelagos in the world, the Bahamas is very, very expensive. 1,000 miles from tip to tip, 700 islands. The Bahamas is this little jewel that is just an incredible place. The people, the cultural, the feel of it. I call it a peaceful country. I call it a friendly country and a very comfortable place to live your life. We are very proud of our uniqueness, while at the same time, we just love to share our culture with our visitors. We emerge as a people that have found our own way and our own identity. The food we eat, the music that we create, the way we dance, the way we have our festivals in the street. You can define the Bahamas through the rhythm of Africa and the melody of Europe. As a visitor coming to the Bahamas, what you have to realize is that you're coming to a place with more than one destination within a destination. You have city, you have rural, and each island in the Bahamas has an individual vibe and feeling. So whether it's the bustle of a city life with our mega resorts on Nassau and Paradise Island, or tranquil lodges on our family islands, where people who enjoy boating, diving, birding, ecotourism, they would find something to do. So many reasons to come and visit. There are a lot of different destinations within the Bahamas in our archipelago. It's about seven or eight hundred miles from the northwest to the southeast and about 200 miles wide. The Bahamas is a geographical area from Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south. It's the same as the Lesser Antilles. 100,000 square miles that's just waiting to be explored. All of these islands are beautiful, tranquil, but there's just always something unique. 700 islands 700 different experiences. The out islands of the Bahamas comprise 84% of the land mass of the country and we're 100% unspoiled. We like to say in the out islands that this is the real Bahamas. Where the experience is not manufactured, where it's authentic, where you can experience the true culture of the Bahamas. But we have to approach it in a sustainable way. Uh, what people are coming for today, we want them to see the same thing 100 years from now. The Bahamas is unique in the sense that we have so many beaches and such beautiful shallow water compared to the other islands in the Caribbean. And you can go from one island to another very easily. You can pop from key to key, and every key that you go to, there's a wonderful, different experience. So when you go to the Exumas, you see this turquoise water of the sea. And then you go to other areas, and you've got beautiful bays for snorkeling and scuba diving. And it's close, and it's safe. You take a seaplane or a helicopter or a boat and you pull up on what essentially is a deserted island. Even in high season, there is no such thing as a crowded beach. You're going to find a piece of tranquility all to yourself. White sand underfoot and just the quietness of the ocean. It's, it's a magical place. We have several types of accommodations. You have the mom and pop type places, you have the hotel motel, you have the fully service resorts. And then you have some luxury hotels, so you can get just about any kind of living quarters that you want in the out islands. Pink Sands is, by birth, authentic in hospitality. The original owner purchased the land in the mid-1940s. Hand-built cottages, and some of the cottages that were built still remain here on the property. There's four things that our hotel guests 
come here year over year for. One, the island lifestyle, the friendliness. Second, of course, the beach right behind me is breathtaking. It's why we have, on any given month, a photo shoot, a commercial, a setting for a wedding. Another surprise to many is the food is so good here. And then finally, I think the accommodations that are here on Harbor Island are by far the best in the Bahamas. People come to the Bahamas and they have a dream about being here or making it part of their life. And the Good Life Bahamas is there to help them do that. For me, given that we are in one of the most beautiful places in the world, we have to honor that in how we build and how our houses interact with their environment. To build well here, a house has to flow from the inside to the outside, using the light and the wind and the sun in ways that maybe in the new world people have forgotten. There are so many places in the world to have a house, but to truly have a second home, it's impossible to beat the Bahamas. In the Bahamas, we're lucky to have some of the most beautiful waters in the world. You know, astronaut Scott Kelly, when he was doing his year in space, he would take photographs of the Bahamas because he said it was just the most brilliant blue. It was just the most incredible sight that he could see from space. It's like a diamond sparkling when you fly over it. It's, it's really cool. Our waters stand out like no other waters in the world. If you like blues, if you like greens, and every color in between, I dare you to come to the Bahamas. There's pretty places in the Caribbean, but not on such a large scale as here in the Bahamas. There's a lot to do on the land, but the biggest part of the Bahamas is the ocean. I feel very fortunate to be able to take people from all over the world out into this amazing water. The Atlantic Ocean is really deep and we're living on the top of a mountain range so we have a lot of shallow water and it's because of that shallow water we have a bunch of nutrients that come in off the big oceans and that's why we have such a prolific marine life here. The Bahamas has been on the map for diving locations for, for many years. People come from all over the world to dive with the sharks, to see the movie sights underwater. We have dramatic walls, we have amazing reef systems here. The Bahamas basically covers it all. I've been a captain for over 15 years now in the industry. I've done most of the places all around the world, Mediterranean, Scandinavia, Caribbean. Nothing compares water-wise and how easy it is to charter here in the Bahamas. Boat for a Day is a company that myself and two other yacht captains in the trade came up with about three years ago. It's a very simple booking platform to make it very easy for somebody to book a yacht charter online. Everybody thinks that these yacht charters are only for a week long or two weeks. Whereas we take the exact same boats and supply them for a day trip or an overnight or two or three days. We have a huge array of yachts stretching from your small boats all the way up to your mega yacht. So there's a boat for everybody. You know, people often ask, what is it that sets the Bahamas apart? Without a shadow of a doubt, it is its people. We love to have a good time. We love to dance. We love to shake. Unique traditions that we have made uniquely Bahamian. No matter where you go, just so welcome. The food, the way we speak, the people, the turquoise blue waters, the white sandy beaches. I love my country. We may be small, but we are a great little nation. On behalf of the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, it gives me great pleasure to invite everyone to the Bahamas, the place where there's something for everyone to do.
So come on, we'd like to welcome you in person and show you firsthand why, again, we say it's better in the Bahamas.